Also, you can tune in directly from our website at www.egoentertainmentnet.com. Also, you can catch this show on anchor.fm. All right, now that we have the formalities out of the way, let's introduce our guest. Our guest is none other than, um, this is actually a celebrity guest, y'all, Dr. Callie Estes. She was on the I'm Possible Radio show a couple months ago. And if you missed her amazing story, it was entitled Russian Roulette. You have to go back. She has an amazing story and you want to get to know her story because it has impacted her ability to help those in what she does with her brand. So let's welcome Dr. Kelly Estes to the show. Thanks. Thanks for having me. And how are you today? I'm well in yourself. I'm fantastic. Awesome. So Dr. Kelly, before we get into this, um, get into this conversation. Can you tell everyone a little bit about yourself, like who you are, um, what you do, where you're from, and what you like to do in your spare time? Sure. I am from Philadelphia, actually from Pottstown, Pennsylvania, which is 40 miles west of Philadelphia. And I moved to Miami and I've been down here about 12 years or so. And I am known as the female Dr. Drew or the addictions coach. And I work with high profile individuals, getting them sober from whatever advice, sex, drugs, rock and roll, food, shopping, whatever, and get them on the straight and narrow path. So that's a little bit about me. And in my spare time, I'm at the gym and I'm doing yoga. All right. Awesome. So um, can you tell everyone first, what is the name of your company? So I have a couple companies. The Addictions okay. Coach and Sober on Demand are my addiction services that I offer to the clients. And then I have the Addictions Academy, which is the largest online school to train people in how to do addiction studies. And I have an offshoot called Unpause Your Life. And that's where I help people tackle whatever holds them back from being the best version of themselves. Awesome. So let's talk, let's back up a little bit. Um, Can you tell me what were you doing before you transitioned into being a full-time entrepreneur? I think I've always been an entrepreneur. I tried the whole working for other people thing and I don't play well in the sandbox. So (laughs) I learned quickly, you know, I felt like I wasn't making enough money and I was working too hard and I sort of had my own company since I was 12, as strange as that sounds. I used to throw these talent shows and I would have the neighborhood kids come and, you know, do their talent show Mm -hmm. and I would charge their parents admission. I would make my sister bake cupcakes and then I would sell the cupcakes and I'd keep all the money. And I really liked that. (laughs) That was a lot of fun. So I think after that, they got bit by the money bug and just started, you know, different companies. I had a a wellness center where we did yoga and massage and Pilates and acupuncture. And then I had a fitness company, the largest fitness company in the world for in-home. So I sort of always kind of worked for myself. All right. That's awesome. So what made you transition into this particular industry? This was my first choice industry. So I learned this. I studied this right out of high school um, because my family had a lot of mental health and I didn't know why my family was so different. And I really wanted to learn why. So I studied it. And then my mentor was XCIA. And he, he when I did my internship at SCI Rockview Prison, they put me with the drug addict. And I, of course, didn't want to do that. And he said, I'm going to teach you some stuff. So I learned body language and I really enjoyed it and I got really good at it. And because I was so good at it, I thought, yeah, I might as well do this for a living. And as I started to build my practice, I really started to enjoy it. And then I took some time off and did a couple other companies, but I've always come back to it. Awesome. Now, in this, uh, let's talk about the Addictions Academy first. Um, Sure. What made you want to go from being a coach into now adding being a teacher or instructor? So here's how it went. I started doing um, coaching and therapy and such and realized I didn't want to be like everybody else doing coaching therapy and such. And I thought, well, I wonder how I can make a lot of money in a short period of time. And how could I help the most people in in a short period of time? Because I'm just one person. I can only coach one person at a time per hour. But if I could train 10 people and then teach them how to do this and take a percentage of it, not only could I help a lot of people quickly, I could also make a lot more money a lot faster. And that's how the idea started, which none of my competitors liked because when I came out the gate, it wasn't just one class. I came out with five and they were teaching one. And then I quickly scaled to 30. So now we have 30 classes and almost 15 instructors and we're in 25 countries and five languages. 
awesome. That is amazing. Yeah. So um, I want to veer off just a tad bit and talk about you have been dubbed the female Dr. Drew in media. So yes. uh, tell me what that is about. <laughs> So I, w I got the opportunity to do stand-up at the, the Laugh Factory in L.A. on the Sunset Strip. And they were doing a big event um, with This Is My Brave with Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia. And they asked if I wanted to be part of it. And I said, oh, my God, my backup career would be a comedian. Why not? So they put me out there first. And I thought, oh, God, I don't even have a speech. I have nothing prepared. But I kind of did really well. And afterwards, the media was interviewing me. And they said, you've done what Dr. Drew did. You're the female Dr. Drew. And it took me by surprise. I said, what does that mean? And they said, well, you're really good at addiction medicine. You're really good with clients and you're funny and you're really good in front of the camera, just like Dr. Drew, but you're female. So you're Dr. Drew and it's stuck. So I've been, I guess I got labeled that in 2015. So I've been kind of like that ever since. Awesome. <laughs> so um, tell us a little bit about the classes that you actually offer. So when you, when you talk about the classics for the addictions, addictions Academy, um, are you training people on, how to counsel those who are addicted to specific uh, things or is it, is it any type of addiction? How does that work? So the Addictions Academy, we have classes to teach people how to coach other people getting sober from drugs and alcohol or food addiction, eating disorders, um, things like sex addiction, porn addiction, video game addiction, internet and social media. Mm -hmm. We have even have a cl class for families, for the family member of the addict on how to coach the family through the problem. We have classes on harm reduction, which is basically controlled drinking and suboxone and methadone. And then we have classes for treatment centers where we go in and actually treat the, treat, teach the treatment center staff how to do ethical call center training and AMA blocking and all the stuff they're doing non-ethically. We come in and teach them. Mm -hmm. And then we have a life coach class in there, sober companion, intervention, advanced intervention, and then a whole marketing side to it. So not only do we train you in in this type of coaching or counseling, because we have counseling as well, we're going to teach you how to market, how to get clients, and I have a whole mastermind that I offer to make six figures in six months if you follow our system. So it's sort of full rounded. It's got a little bit of everything. Okay, now that is awesome. That's amazing. Um, so the Unpause Your Life. Tell us a little bit about that and what that is about. So Unpause Your Life, I started, after I started working with clients and getting them sober, the question became, now what? Because they were stuck. And I said, this is interesting. It's like your life is on pause. So Unpause Your Life is for anybody who's stuck with an addiction or without, and they just feel they can't get to the next level, whatever it is, money, family, relationships, career, they're stuck. It's how to get unstuck and how to get to the next level. And I wrote a whole book called The Seven Keys to Tap into the Wealth Inside You. And it's using these seven principles to get out of being stuck and into the next level to what I call hashtag level up. Okay. Now that makes sense because um, I myself have family members who are addicted and have been addicted to um, drugs. Uh, I used mm -hmm. to be addicted to um, narcotics, um, uh, prescription pills myself. So um, feeling like your life is on pause and knowing that the addiction is just a coping mechanism to, you know, for a, a, a deeper underlying root. Um, yep. Once that happens, it is very difficult to put your life back together, especially when the addiction has taken over to the point where you've lost, you know, uh, your family, you know, home, you know, some people become homeless, all of these things. So um, in that, do you provide practical um, and tangible services to help people get back on their feet? So if someone becomes homeless, do you uh, help them obtain housing or um, if they, uh, you know, are disconnected from their families, do you intervene and help with reconnection? those types of things? So we have a whole system. There's over 12,000 of us that are connected and everybody has access to everybody's resources. 
So if a client comes in and we say, okay, and this just happened, I had a client call in that had no money, no insurance, and they're homeless, and they were in San Diego. And it was as quick as I posted in Facebook, because I have a big Facebook group of mm-hmm. all of us. This is what I need for the person is, who's closest, who can pick them up. Within five minutes, we had two people in a car to go get him and get him services. Mm-hmm. So because everybody's been trained, we're connected. And if we don't have it, even though I'm in Miami, I can't physically help him, and I don't know who to call over there. Mm-hmm. There's somebody there who does. So Mm -hmm. it makes us more powerful as a team to help more people, even if we're not in that location or have that resource at our fingertips. Okay, yeah, that is um, that's awesome. That's amazing Um, because I think that is very important. Once people actually do the work, um, you know, internally, there are still those tangible and practical things that they need to to. for everything to come full circle. So exactly. And it's hard to get, Oh yeah. especially if you just got sober, mm-hmm. your resources are tapped out. Your right. family's done with you. You know, exactly. they've had enough. And that's kind of where we come in and say, let us show you what's next. It might not be comfortable to stay in the Salvation Army, but we're going to get you there. Right. And then from there, we're going to help you get housing. And then from there, we're going to help you get a job. We're going to do those things and we'll do them with you. Right. And so this uh, unpause your life. I don't know if this would be a part of the addictions coach coaching, too. But um, once they, uh, you know, get to the point where they're sober, you know how um, there's a step in uh, AA where people have to start trying to reconcile, you know, and by that point, you know, family members are like, no, I don't believe you, you know, especially if you've tried if they've tried to um, go through this process several times before. Um, Is that something that the coaching um, academy or Apologia Life helps them to do? Well, Unpause Your Life is more for getting out of your own head base and creating the life you want, less mm-hmm. tangibles. The tangibles would be more in the addictions coach side of things. Mm-hmm. But depending on where the client comes in from, we can get them in the right program. So we just need to know what their needs are, mm-hmm. what the resources are they have. And if they don't have them, we can get them in that side. If they do have them and they want to do something different, then they would be in the Unpause Your Life side. So it's two okay. different facets of us, mm-hmm. but there's nobody we can't help. We even have people that call us and say, I don't have money for training, but I want to give back. We'll give them a scholarship and just get them in the classes and get them trained and get them out there doing the work and helping other people. Now, that's awesome. Um, so what about people who don't have insurance? How do they actually have access to your services through the 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 addictions coaching and the Unpause Your Life program? So we are cash pay. We've never taken insurance, um, but we do have referral partners that take insurance. So if someone comes in and says, I want to do inpatient mm-hmm. and I have insurance, we'll refer them to that particular place. Okay. So because um, I know a lot of people who, who are addicted, you know, especially if you have a gambling addiction or a porn addiction and you're, you know, paying all this money online or for gambling and especially if you're on drugs, these people have no money. So, um, so those are the people then who would be then referred to companies that take insurance? Correct. Yes. Referral Uh, partners take insurance or can provide free or low cost services. Okay. So we would refer them to those places to get that, to get that help. Okay. All right. So, uh, can you tell me what has been, if you could choose just one, what has been your greatest challenge to overcome on this journey thus far and how did you overcome it? Being a female in the addiction industry with so many hateful men has been the biggest challenge. All of my competitors are men, most of them, at the level that I'm at, and they're extremely condescending, narcissistic, ego-driven, nasty, when any woman can even come close to attaining success like them. So I've had to push forward and deal with a lot of nasty stuff online, comments, inappropriate comments, pictures, things that shouldn't be sent, all of that stuff, thinking that they would throw me off my game, and all it's done is make me want to go stronger, harder, faster, faster bigger, better. So that's been my biggest challenge in this industry. Awesome. I know a lot of industries are very challenging for women, especially when they're, you know, at at the top of their game and are one of the top five in the industry. So um, I can only imagine because this is definitely an industry that is constantly growing and always needed. So um, 
I can definitely uh, feel you on that. <laughs> so yes. um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to continue the conversation with Dr. Kelly Essis and also talk about how if you have a loved one or yourself would like to reach out for services, we're going to make sure that you have that info as well. So stick and stay. We'll be right back. You are tuned in to the Business Banker Spotlight Show with your girl, Lady J, right here on JQLM Radio, a division of Ego Entertainment Network. All right. Thank you for sticking and staying. And we are back. You are tuned in to the Business Banger Spotlight Show right here on JQLM Radio with your girl, Lady J, a division of Ego Entertainment Network. And tonight, our guest is none other than Dr. Callie Estes of the Addictions Coach and Addictions Academy, also Unpause Your Life. And she's been talking to us about all of the many addictions that she helps people with and classes that she offers through her academy to train people on how to help people that have addictions, as well as the services that she offers, that her company, her network offers to help people get back on track. All right. So Dr. Kelly Estes, can you tell everyone how they would contact you in order to receive your services for their loved ones, whether they are cash insurance or um, uh, paying patients? Sure. If you go to theaddictionscoach.com, you will see all the services on there. You can also go to kellyessis.com. And if your listeners would like some freebies, which would get them started in thinking about unpausing their life, they can go to unpauseyourlife.com, type in their email, and get a whole bunch of free PDF downloads to help them think about getting and breaking through the next level. Okay. Um, Can you tell everyone... um, how they can follow you on social media. Sure. On Facebook is Dr. Kelly Estes. On Instagram is Dr. Kelly Estes. On Twitter, it's at the Addictions Co. And I've recently discovered TikTok, although I'm not good at <laughs> keeping up with what everyone's doing. Yeah. Um, I'm at, at the Addictions Coach on there if they want to see my crazy side. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I haven't downloaded TikTok, but I do watch the videos. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so when uh, you were talking about the Addictions Academy and a scholarship that you offer. Can you talk a little bit more about that and and how people can uh, obtain that? Sure. So we did a couple things. First of all, we don't turn anybody away that can't afford to become trained in addiction. Now, of course, if you're buying Gucci and Prada and everything else and tell me you don't have any money, that doesn't fly. But if you truly can't afford it, we won't turn you away. Mm -hmm. We also always do free classes for first responders, EMT, firefighter, nurse, doctor, uh, police officer, anyone that's a first responder always gets free classes from us. You can go to theaddictionsacademy.com, fill out the form, and in the comment section, just right, I need a scholarship, um, and what your circumstances are, and what population you want to work with. We do have one requirement, and that is once you finish taking the class, you promise to give back. Our thing is, once the elevator has gone up, you always send the elevator back down. So, we want you to pay it forward, and if you're willing to help people and do some extra things for free, and help, you know, people get sober and find services, we will train you for free if you're willing to give back. Awesome. Um, Now, these classes, or the Addictions Academy, is is this uh, a is this a type of academy where they have to go through all thirty classes, or do they get to choose a particular addiction that they want to work with and get trained on that? You can choose whatever particular addiction you want. So if you just want to do drugs and alcohol, we have a recovery coach level one and two, which comes with ethics, ten weeks of coaching, mentorship, and supervision, a job board, networking, a free thirty day directory where you can put your information in there, um, all kinds of stuff, and that all comes with each class. So if you want to learn food addiction, there's something for that. Gaming, something for that. Social media like TikTok. I've been down the TikTok rabbit hole too many times. <laughs> there's a class for that. So it's all depending on what you want to do. And then we have an international master class that is a total of 10 of those where you learn pretty much every addiction, process addiction and regular addiction. Okay. Um, man, this is awesome. Amazing. Um, so for, let's say someone like me um, who is uh, degreed in psychology or um mental 
uh, health or family and uh, or family therapy and things of that sort um, or in human services. So for those people, would you recommend this academy for them to maybe further education and hone in on one particular type of addiction or just uh, would you say that this would be something that is good for them to um, to add as another uh, service that they could provide? So it depends on what you want to do. If you're in the counseling therapy sector and you like it and you need continuing education units, any of these classes will give you that. If you're like me, I was in the addictions counseling and therapy side. I got tired of doing therapy. I got burned out and I wanted to do coaching, like life coaching. Mm -hmm. That is something you could switch. So I went into the coaching side. So I almost exclusively coach my client. Although I can do therapy, I only do it if I have to. I prefer the coaching. So it's less rules, less regulations. So it's either way. You could do it right. either or or both. Okay. So, and with this academy, is this accredited or not? Oh, yeah. We are accredited in 25 different countries. So depending on where you are, like in Canada, their accreditation body is the CACCF, which is backed by the ICADC. Mm -hmm. So we have the full accreditation in the U.S. is by date uh, for counseling. And we're accredited through the Florida State with the ICADC, which is the international. Mm -hmm. And then with coaching, we're the ICF, which is the International Coaching Federation, which is out of the U.K. Um, that's just some of them. We still have the ACTPO and the IAAP, and that's all up on the website. Okay, awesome. That is amazing. So also through this academy, are people able to obtain licensing or is that something that they need or no? If you're a counselor in your state and need licensing, then yes. But the coaching, there's no licensing for. There's no licensing for intervention yet. Mm -hmm. So it's certification only at this time. Okay. All right. That is awesome. So can you tell me thus far, if you could choose one thing, what would you say has been your greatest accomplishment? and why? That's an interesting question. Um, and it's not work-related. That's the funny part. My, <laughs> my biggest accomplishment has probably been losing weight and getting my butt out of bed and going to the gym every single day and maintaining weight loss because I'm a food addict mm -hmm. at number one. So that's probably my biggest accomplishment. The rest of this stuff, creating companies and writing books, is to me, isn't that big of an accomplishment right? because it's not hard to me. Mm -hmm. So for me, an accomplishment would be difficulty. For me, that's difficult. All right. Um, and, and that's that's fine. I mean, listen, if you can't be, you know, happy about the accomplishments uh, that you, you know, that you uh, achieve within, then, I mean, all the other stuff really doesn't matter. So um, I true. definitely applaud you on that. <laughs> um, if you had anything that you could say to someone that was struggling with reaching out for services or whether it, it be them themselves who needs it or a loved one, maybe because they're ashamed or, you know, or thinking to themselves, you know, we can't afford this. What would you say to them? Here's what I'd say. Everybody has a bite. Even if you don't think they're addicted to something, they are. People you don't know, you don't know what their issue is or what they do behind closed doors. There's always something going on you don't know about. So reach out for help, number one. Number two, even if you don't have any money, we can point you in the right direction of free and low cost resources. They're out they're they're available. Don't think they're not. So definitely reach out. And number three, don't be embarrassed. One in five people has an addiction. One in seven has mental health. My family is as crazy as they come. So when you reach out to most of us professionals, we've been there, done that, came from crazy town. We're not going to judge you because our house and our lawn isn't clean and mowed and perfect. We know your house and your lawn are not clean and mowed and perfect. So we're not going to judge you. So don't fear picking up the phone. Right, right. Um, now, also, what what would you say to someone that is looking to obtain the necessary knowledge and tools to become a coach and maybe they have some reservation about it? What would you say to them? Fill out the form, have a chat with one of our admissions counselors because what could it hurt? You know, right now you're not doing it. At least put the effort out there to see if you could do it and see if it's something you want to do and then make a decision. Awesome. All right. So again, can you please tell everyone how they can contact you for services and how they can follow you on social media? Sure. You can find me at theaddictionscoach.com or calliestis.com or theaddictionsacademy.com or unpauseyourlife.com. And on mm -hmm. social, Facebook is Calliestis, Insta is Dr. Calliestis, Twitter is at the Addictions Co. And TikTok is at the Addictions Coach. 
Awesome. Uh, Dr. Kelly, I just have to say that I think that what you're doing is amazing. Um, I don't know anyone that provides that many uh, courses for, you know, all of those different things as far as addictions, especially, you know, addicted if you're addicted to gaming or, uh, you know, social media, things of that sort. I don't think people really think about those things and think that, hey, I need help for that, you know. Um, and I, I, I'm curious. It's, uh, it's, it's funny, but um, I'm curious to see. Do you offer a course for people who are addicted to work, like workaholics? We don't. So we've been asked to do one on money because money. Mm-hmm. I was doing some work with a very famous speaker, mm-hmm. very famous, and he was talking about being in recovery. And I said, "Well, you're not really in recovery." And he goes, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "You're addicted to money." He's like, "No, I'm not." And then he went, "Yeah, I am." And we kind of got asked by that camp to create a, a class on being addicted to money and being addicted to work. So mm-hmm. that may be the next thing you see us come out with. Okay, yeah, I was just um, <laughs> I was curious because I'm people say I'm a workaholic and I am and this is why I'm in the position I am now. It, uh, but um, I thought that that would be, you know, you named a lot of different addictions and I was like, hmm, I wonder if they ever thought about, you know, if they have a course about workaholics. So, I mean, because there are those people who do that and they neglect themselves and I mean l- really neglect themselves, like literally run themselves in the ground and, and I am one of those people I did do that so um, I was wondering if that was the course that you all offered yeah that I think that'll be our next one I mean we just did the gaming one which went over really well because nobody was teaching gaming mm-hmm. and nobody's teaching social media mm-hmm. and so many people are addicted to that but I see the money and the workaholic even not so much money in the workaholic but somebody who always has to be working they feel validation through what they create so right. I think that's been been interesting too and I think that'll be another really good class to come out with, especially with, you know, after all the pandemic and stuff is done, because so many people, you know, threw themselves into work and said, I've got to just work. I have to work. Even if they weren't, you know, doing a whole lot, they just needed to be part of that work environment. Right, right. Exactly. So if you um, had anything you want to leave to the listeners today, what would that be? Just that you can do it. Even if you think you can't, whether it's getting sober or kicking a vice or getting trained in something, you can do it. A lot of people say, you know, I'm not sure if I should do this. And they him haw around and they really don't know if they want to do it. And I always say, just try it. Because right now you've already failed. If you try it, the only thing that could happen is success. If you've already failed because you haven't tried, just try and see what happens. And then if you don't like it, you can go back to doing what you were doing the way you were doing it. Right, right. Well, that's um, that's awesome. I think that um, anyone who is listening, if you have a loved one or you yourself is in need of help with addiction, please, please reach out. Um, everyone is struggling with something. I promise you that. OK, um, do not be ashamed. Um, it's always OK to ask for help. So please, please, please reach out. Um, If you do not feel like, you know, you want to reach out to Dr. Kelly Estes and the Addictions Academy team, uh, Addictions Coaching Team, or Unpause Your Life, um, please reach out to someone. Um, If you are right now in transition, you feel like your life is on hold, you know, because uh, you are coming out of addiction and and you're sober, please reach out to the Unpause Your Life program. It um, sounds like the services that they offer are very much needed, especially when you're trying to get back on your feet. Um, again, um, Dr. Kelly, thank you so much for being my guest tonight. Um, you did an amazing job, of course. And you're always welcome to come back um, anytime. I enjoy you each time that you come on. Um, awesome. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> no problem. So, all right, every everyone, this will conclude our show for tonight. Dr. Kelly Estes with the Addictions Academy. Um, if you miss uh, any part of this show tonight live, that's okay. You can catch it on the major podcast platforms later this week, at least by Friday. All right. Um, and make sure that you all go register to vote okay go register to vote everyone all right so thank you all for listening tonight to the business banger spotlight show right here on jqlm radio with your girl lady j a division work and remember business banger stay ready i'm out y'all